China's push to boost its AI capabilities in the race for global tech supremacy. The China ecosystem, the AI space is racing at a breathtaking speed. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Is Artificial intelligence technology. Several cities across China have announced plans to become AI-powered smart cities, like Shenzhen, Beijing, or Shanghai, where we are today. Implementing artificial intelligence in urban planning, traffic management, and public services. I like to be optimistic about our future. I like to think that technology will help us to live a longer and better life. Today we already come with amazing technology and devices using AI to improve health, to take a better care of elders, to improve education, to make our lives more convenient. From personalized recommendations, to voice assistance, to smart homes, to autonomous driving, artificial intelligence is definitely part of our lives. Sometimes it's not just about convenience, speed or smart lives. For some people, it represents a significant change in their lives. 就是我戴上它第一感觉，就是我失去十年的这个右手又重新回来了，就是一个很珍贵的东西，又十二副的这种感觉，是对于我们这一类特殊人群是最关键的。This is an intelligent bionic hand. It is a brain-computer interface that works with artificial intelligence and muscle electrical signals that recognizes the person movement's intentions and convert these signals into actions. The integration of technology and AI in the development and use of bionic arms and legs represents a significant advancement in prosthetics and allow for more natural and functional replacement that closely mimic the movement and control of biological limbs. 就是可以控制到每根手指去根据我的想法去做动作，对，抓东西啊，或者是做一些点赞的手势都是可以的。Some people say that when it comes to artificial intelligence, China is the future. And I agree. Here are some impressive numbers about how China is implementing AI nowadays. Chinese AI market is valued at 22.5 billion US dollars by 2023, and it is expected to grow up to 85 billion US dollars by 2030. The country is also home to 29% of the world's AI specialists, with nearly 60,000 people working in the AI field. And something really impressive, up to 80% of Chinese companies are using some form of artificial intelligence. This technology is being used in areas like retail, manufacturing and finance. We are today in Shanghai at the Inclusion Conference on the Bond to explore some of the companies that are bringing the latest technologies that it comes to AI and robotics. So come with me and explore some of these products and services that are bringing a lot of innovation to the market. Something absolutely mind-blowing that we have seen more and more is the presence of humanoid robots in the industries. From retail, to entertainment, to education, to even space explorations, we're going to start seeing these kind of new robots more and more often. One of the highlights of this conference are robots. Actually, I'm right next to a humanoid robot that is moving in a very realistic way. It has actually some cameras, sensors incorporated. Now it's moving and it's because the sensor is detecting that I'm moving. It actually reacts to some like maybe hands gestures. Like if I wave my hand, I think it will do it at some point. There you go. 
Their ability to interact with humans in a natural and intuitive way, combined with their adaptability and versatility, makes them powerful tools in numerous scenarios. 去年推出的首款机器人是世界上跑得最快的机器人，它跑起来有三点三米每秒，所以当时也是打破了一个世界纪录。而且它还可以进行后空翻，在行业上的运用更多还是工业的场景，比如说进入车企的工厂去，呃，做一些搬运呀、啊。In emergency responses and disaster recovery, robots will play a crucial role in search and rescue operations. After natural disasters like earthquake, floods, or building collapses. Robot equipped with cameras, thermal imaging, and sonar can navigate to locate survivors and assess damage in areas that are too dangerous or inaccessible for human rescuers. We also believe that in the next few years, with AI's development, with the AI machine, the AI machine's development will be more and more fast. It can enter into more fields, such as entering into the homes of people, entering into the service sector. Xiaobao, designed by Ant Group, is an assistant that understands and responds to voice commands, providing useful information and allowing users to perform a wide range of tasks hand-free. The assistant also enables users to shop, make payments, and manage finances through voice commands. We this product called AI Life Guardian. It has all the features together. 然后通过大模型可以预测你此刻可能会需要喝一杯咖啡，然后需要去做乘车乘车码去上班，然后可以用一句话就把所有的服务调用出来。我现在要上班坐地铁。As AI and voice recognition technology continue to improve, these assistants are becoming smarter, more accurate, and better at understanding context, making them an indispensable part of everyday life for many people in China. And around the world, there are several companies right now that are working to incorporate these artificial intelligence into our daily lives. Some of the most interesting cases, companies, and products we are seeing in this very conference actually got my attention. That there are some、uh, devices and applications to be used at home. Artificial intelligence enhances convenience through various applications that improve tasks and provide personalized experiences. That is the case of Kitchen Idea, an AI application that helps creating recipes from a picture of the ingredients that we might have at home. I'm checking a machine that has artificial intelligence integrated in here. Just using the phone、uh, with an app, Alipay is actually embedded in this super app. You can actually take a picture of the leftover ingredients that you have at home, and artificial intelligence will create some suggestions of some delicious and healthy recipes. It seamlessly integrates the process with an actual cooking device that will guide the users through the whole process. A few inches later. Look at that. It was made in less than 20 minutes, and we have some delicious sweet and sour pork ribs. Helping our daily life、uh, with convenience and speed—that's what AI is here for. But what about our health? We are right now in a booth that is showcasing several kind of applications. To improve our daily habits, our health. Artificial intelligence is also transforming China's healthcare system. AI algorithms assist in diagnosing diseases, analyzing medical images, and predicting patient outcomes, leading to faster and more accurate diagnosis. We now count with a virtual doctor that is available 24 hours through our phone. We can simply ask questions. They can usually use voice recognition to understand your request. And also another way to do it is if you have some medicine at home, so you can actually take a picture and be sent through the AI, and we'll analyze what kind of medicine that is and if it's also useful for the kind of symptoms you might be presenting. So this whole app is also available through Alipay. You can just ask questions, and the doctor can give you some. Feedbacks in real time. Uh, 大家其实可以看到，我们的整个 AI 健康管家，它其实是包含了所有的医疗健康。它其实核心解决的就是用户在家里面可能经常发现一些身体症状，要不要去医院，其实很疑惑。那这个场景下就可以来使用
，包括说可能一些药品、一些报告拿到之后看不懂，包括怎么用不知道，我们其实都可以用 AI 去解决。A big portion of Chinese schools have also adopted some form of artificial intelligence. These tools like smart classrooms or learning platforms are also changing the way the new generations are learning. AI is also playing a critical role in education, with AI-driven platforms providing personalized learning experiences, tutoring and administrative support, helping to bridge educational gaps across the country. So uh, this is uh, AI Dexter Robert, and it's called RT. And we found out that RT can not only improve their work and study efficiency, but also give their lots of help. For example, they can RT can help with uh, academic papers. Our robots can not only provide them, you know, emotion and uh, uh, companionship, yeah. but also. Be very patient uh, in answering questions, and it's actually a desktop robot can interact with with audio, with video, and with gas control, and also it can with physical touch. For example, if we touch here, it can react as well. Yeah, you see, so it will be a really cute emotion like here, a, like a pet, like yeah, an exactly. actual pet. So this is a new kind of AI pet we call it. Okay, you can play with me. RT will actually adjust itself with the dynamic memory, so it will adopt, uh, adapt to the user's behavior and to memorize that's your habits and what you kind of like. And for example, if you prefer to uh, use a certain language, it will adjust itself to you know uh, to customize its your experience for its owner. I today have a day late. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. Just take a little rest. Don't forget to relax. Oh, it's okay. Innovation, convenience, safety, and speed are some of the words that are describing this conference here today. I loved every single service, technology, and company we have explored today. I think uh, we can definitely say that we can find a future here in China. It's been mind-blowing to explore and experience all these services and technologies. I would love to hear what do you think about this place. I also would like to know uh, from where are you watching this video, if any of these technologies is available in your country. Remember to leave the comments down below. Don't forget also to like and subscribe to the video. If you have any suggestions for the next video, let me know also in the comments down below. As usual, I want to say thank you so much for watching our video. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.